Didum. Didum. Hello, hello. I just sneezed. Yeah. So it sounds like we got leaf blowers or weed whackers or something up the street. Don't know if they'll be making their way down here. Click. Click. Put this over here. Oops. Uh, that's not right. Uh-oh. Um, you didn't see that. <laughs> you didn't see anything. Um, okay. I fixed it. Everything's fine. Didum. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. How's it going, Hilly? And... Uh, into 42k. I feel like I might sneeze again. Just a warning. I'll try not to. Okay. Put my glove on here. Whew. Today will be just another. Um, just pose practice, I think. I'll probably wait until the weekend. I'm not, I don't have any ideas yet of what to draw this week. So I might wait and just do something quick on Sunday or something. Because I'm busy on Saturday. We'll see. But for now, I really like this brush. Actually, the more I use it, the more I enjoy it. I wonder if I could adjust it a little bit more. I like it the way it is. Maybe it could be a little darker? I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway. Whew. Let me have a sip of water and then we can get into it. Oh, actually, I should fill up my cup. Let me do that first. About today, so I'll follow along later. I have some idea of nothing solid yet. Sounds good. Yeah, I don't really... I haven't thought too much about it. Usually I like to let the ideas come to me, like, without thinking about it too much, but I might have to do some thinking this week. Whew, okay. Delicious. Delicious water. Alrighty. Okay, so let's get started with good old 90 second poses. I'm gonna try and remember to finish them. <laughs> try and go fast. Hmm. I don't know if you can hear that one more in the distance. It's kind of far away. Quite annoying. How's it going, Tian? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing just fine. Wait. Just another day. Kaboom! Is my heater turning on? Something like that. That's good enough for me. Wait. Next. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's a funny one. Looks like the guy's startled by something. Whoa. Wait.
Trying to go fast. At least somewhat fast. Not too fast. Arms it is. Next. This is like ballet or something. What's going on here? How's it going? Wait. Wait. Hope everyone is doing good today. This fine April. April? April. April, right? It's still April, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, April. April day. Wait. Yeah. Next, a couple more quick ones here. It feels like June. <laughs> if I think about how long this year has been going, I don't know, it feels like it's been a while, but it's only April. Then again, it kind of feels like it just started too, 2024. that lawnmower would go away already. <laughs> He's been there for like an hour. Why does it take them so long to mow the lawn? <laughs> okay, one more. Maybe second pose here. Imagine if April just suddenly stopped. <laughs> Went away really fast. Like just, you wake up tomorrow and it's like, all of a sudden it's May. I wouldn't mind. I prefer May over April. Do I? I don't know, I don't really know about months too much. I prefer winter. Can't really differentiate the months. This 
one is weird. Weird twist going on. There you go. All right. That'll do it for 90 second poses. That was pretty fun. <laughs> I think I'm having fun. Whew. <sighs> yum, yum, yum. How's it going, Jewel? Whew. All right. I'm already slouching. Let me sit up straight. <laughs> Stretch my shoulders a little. And we'll do three minute poses next. Oh. Man, okay. That feels nice. <laughs> I do the stretch where you, uh, it's not really stretching your shoulders, I guess. You pretend you're a plane, <laughs> but then you rotate kind of like from like the bottom of like your spine. I don't know what you call it. So you kind of like rotate this way and then like the other way. <laughs> oh, wait. Feels good when you're sitting down for too long, hey? Let's go and put that. Okay. Let me have a sip of water and we can get going. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Okay. Da -dum. Surfing pose? Perhaps? Hmm. Hear my cat. <laughs> she's sleeping in a tent. Maybe she's not sleeping right now, but I can hear her like, I don't know, every now and then I just hear a noise from in there. What are you doing in there? Rolling over or something. She was chasing a moth earlier. I think she got it. <laughs>
tun sollen, wird jetzt fein. No! <laughs> We're out of time. Okay, next. Upside down pose. It's been a while, I feel, since we've had one that's upside down. They're always annoying. so confusing. I don't know why. It just turns your brain in a different direction when it's up, everything is upside down. Just have to reconfigure a little. Okay, next. <laughs> a bit of a lean here. You can see the weight on this leg. It's kind of like this. Right? Like, hey, look at how cool I am. <laughs> Kind of got that lean to it. Yeah, fashionable, right? That's it gives off that vibe. Wait. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Sass, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of sassy too.
<sighs> My nose. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I thought I was going to sneeze right there, but I didn't. It's coming, I can tell. Where was I? I forgot what I was doing. Um, what was I doing? I was doing this. Curse you nose. <laughs> Wait, okay, close enough. <laughs> um, wow, what do we have here? Holy moly. What the heck? <laughs> Older ladies that wear fur coats and big glasses. <laughs> I know exactly the ones you mean. Like the cartoon supervillain. What's their name from uh, 101 Dalmatians or whatever? Like her? What is her name? Isn't it something? It's like Cruella DeVille, is that it? <laughs> That's such a good name. Because it's like a cruel devil or whatever, right? I think that's her name. Something like that. hate when I'm about to sneeze, but I don't, so I'm frozen in place. <laughs> Has that ever happened in public? I only sneeze at home. I've never sneezed, like, at school or at work. I've only ever sneezed at home. I might have, like, once or twice. But it's very rare for me to sneeze unless I'm at home. Is a live action that try to make her a tragic villain? <laughs> Why does every villain always have to be like ambiguous now? Why can't we just have villains that are villains? <laughs> Man. What happened to Disney villains? Yeah. What happened to a lot of things? I heard something from GDC this year that 60% of like all video games, I can't remember if it was video game sales or video game playtime, is all stuff from at least six years ago. <laughs> you know, it's like the media, we have no good media anymore, man. I miss when Disney was like, you know, classic Disney. I never even really watched them. I watched a few of the movies, but it's just not the same. There's too many remakes, I think that's part of it. I like villains that are like so villainous. <laughs> the thing I like about that is that when they get arrested, they don't get like executed or anything. They just get arrested and they're like, or they get caught or whatever, you know? And they're like, oh man, <laughs> you know, it's like good wins out. We've done the bike pose enough already. Good wins out, even over like tremendously evil people, you know? I like that kind of thing. <laughs> oh, they were trying to make her a brand? Weird. Why would you make a villain a brand? <laughs> uh. Yeah, they think games are disposable and then complain about not playing new ones. Yeah. Why is nobody playing our game? <laughs> Who knows? What could it be? You know? What could the reason be? <laughs> Only finished Undertale. I've been meaning to play that. I usually don't like that kind of humor. 
But I've heard from so many people that Undertale is really good. I, I've like that's one of the games that I'm 100% spoiler free on. I have no idea what that game is about. And apparently that's like a good thing for Undertale is to go in blind. So I've kind of been meaning to play it for like the last 10 years or whatever. <laughs> Basically since it came out. I don't know if I will, to be honest. Maybe someday. I might just watch somebody play it instead. <sighs> what a percentage of... Yeah, I want to see that same statistic, but for movies, yeah. Like, what is the average year of just, like, some guy who watches a movie on Netflix or whatever, or on YouTube or anything at all? What year, what's the average year of like the movie that's being consumed today? <laughs> I bet it's like 1980 or like 19, I don't know, maybe 2000s. I'm trying to think of like modern movies that I've been interested in. There hasn't really been any. <laughs> like the last movie that I saw like a trailer for and I was like, I'll watch that. It's probably like an anime movie. Does that count? <laughs> I can't tell. I guess I should stop yapping and start drawing here. I'm running out of time with these ones. Wait. Thankfully I got the construction down so I can just follow the angles of these legs and this arm. And then, um, where's the other arm? It's like here. Wait, wait. There you go. <laughs> Sweet. That'll do it for three minute poses. Do five minute poses next. First, I need to stretch. Undertale's awesome. Fairly short, really. I thought it was long. I'll have to look into it a little more maybe <laughs> oh love villains who are self-aware the ridiculous things happening around them <laughs> yeah yeah when their henchmen are like incompetent yeah there's like a bunch of like old school like villain tropes that you just don't see anymore it's just fun you know like what's the problem with a fun <laughs> I like fun I like fun villains oh yeah 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 Ooh. Yeah, all right. One more time. Just touch my toes once more. Oh boy. Yeah, okay. Whew. Probably better not to stream it. Yeah, I was thinking of um maybe streaming some games at some point i don't really know though but yeah i wouldn't want to stream undertale because i know it's very um i don't really know what it is but apparently there's like something uh, i don't know how to say it like with the new game plus or something like once you know you know it's like some one of those sort of things so i feel like i'd get spoiled i don't know <laughs> Last movie I watched was Dead Apple. Never heard of it. <laughs> Macross Plus? Is that the um, the one with Sharon Apple? I like the music in that series. Or in that one. I think it's by Yoko Kano in Macross Plus. I love all the Macross. I haven't seen them all yet, but... I Actually, I think I have. Have I? Is there a new one? I've seen Delta. Is that the newest one? I can't remember. Anyway, let's do five minute poses. <laughs> I'm a big Macross fan. Um, okay, this is like baseball. Looking from first base. Interesting. Alternate endings, okay. Yeah, yeah Sharon Apple's cool. I like the scene where, um, I don't know, remember which part it's in. 
It's like one of the concert scenes. It's just really cool. There's a lot of cool visuals in that movie. Or OVA or whatever it is. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, sir. Is that a fast ball you got there? I kind of wish I got into baseball when I was like in school or something. I never played any sports. I played like soccer growing up, just a little. But it was like soccer when you're like, uh, you know, a kid. All it is is like, here's the soccer field, like, like this, here's the goals, and then here's the ball, and then here's all of the players on both teams. <laughs> when you're 10 years old in it, playing soccer, and then the ball, you know, everybody's here and the ball shoots over here, and then every single player, except the goalies, runs to the ball. That's what it was like. <laughs> I was probably a little too young. To enjoy soccer. <laughs> it's funny, it's such a spectacle. But the plot is basically dumb love triangle. Broken up by a girl's vocaloid. Yeah, pretty much. I guess that's most of um, Matt Cross. Except um, Matt Cross Plus, it's like she's like a robot or whatever, right? Or vocaloid, I guess is the term. <laughs> Need to know the movie name. It's um Macross. Macross Plus. I think it's from like 1980 or maybe 90s actually. 1998 if I had to guess. No. 1993 if I had to guess. <laughs> I really have no idea. I'm not good at guessing years. It's like a four episode um, OVA. I think it's directed by, um, what's his name, isn't it? Uh, I always forget his name. The Cowboy Bebop guy, what's his name again? Shinichiro Watanabe, that's right. Oh, did they remake it or something? Recut into a full length movie? Maybe I haven't seen the, the movie version. It's probably just the same thing. Like when they did that with Evangelion. Um, what is it called again? Death and Rebirth or whatever? I never saw that. I need to rewatch Macross Plus now that I think about it. <laughs> I saw it a long time ago. I still listen to the music sometimes. There's a, one of the songs in the soundtrack, I think it's called Idle Talk. It's pretty good. It's like butchered French. <laughs> Let me do this like properly. I don't know, that looks weird. I probably shouldn't have done the leg before I did everything else. Oh well. Someone married Miku? IRL? <laughs> really? Was it the Domino's Pizza guy? Oh, with a few added scenes? Damn, I should watch that then. I've been kind of meaning to rewatch that. Macross Plus, because it's kind of short, you know? 
Maybe I'll watch the movie this time. Whew. A judge slash lawyer in Japan did? Huh. Interesting. I've heard of people marrying like uh, amusement park rides and stuff. I married a roller coaster. I didn't, but that was like the name of like a documentary or something. I can't remember. I definitely did not marry a roller coaster. <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. See, there's a video on my channel where I go on a, a date with Hatsune Miku. It's a very short date, but we get sucked into a black hole, so it kind of got ended prematurely. Wow, that was a while ago, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> okay, um, this is kind of difficult. It's from above, so I'm trying to figure this out. I just heard my neighbor sneeze. You there, who are you pointing at? Never mm -hmm. heard of marrying rides? <laughs> yeah, the world is a bizarre place, eh? <laughs> it is indeed. Very strange world we live in. I keep getting weird like synchronicities where I'll like think of something that's completely out of left field and then like 20 minutes later or like the next day or something I'll see like a video with that exact topic or whatever. I'm trying to think of an example but it happens so often that it makes me feel like I'm in a simulation you know like and they're like oh he's thinking about uh, bananas again. And then <laughs> it's something more specific about rather than bananas though, you know? I'm trying to think of an example. Like a specific movie or something, and then randomly I'll watch a video and the guy will like bring up that movie. And I'll be like, why? <laughs> you know? That's been happening to me a lot lately. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm in a simulation, all right. I don't really believe in that simulation thing, but it's kind of funny. It's fun to believe that maybe you are. Um, okay. This. Just want to make sure I'm finishing this one. Wait. Okay. Put this over here. Who's him, officer? Who's him? <laughs> All right. Good enough. Next. You seen Napoleon Dynamite? Yeah, I've seen it a few times. It's like, I think it's my mom's favorite movie, or at least one of them.
I remember like years ago, I just like hear random laughing in the living room and I go out and she'd be watching the play dynamite. <laughs> ah. It's a good movie. I like how there's really not a plot until there is. Like there's it's just like nothing is going on and then he's like, I think I'm going to run for class president. And then the plot kind of starts. <laughs> It's like, well, I guess it's about time. Let's let's put like a story in this movie. Before then, it's just like weird characters being weird. But the thing I like about that movie is, is um, every character, except for like the people who are supposed to be kind of cool, every single character is like really weird and awkward. So it makes the people who are like like the popular kids, it makes them kind of feel awkward instead because they're the ones that are like out of the ordinary everybody else is just like uh oh hello and they're like they're like regular people almost but they're kind of like they're too over the top so it makes them feel like they're the odd ones out it's kind of a cool like flip like the the jock guy who makes weird faces <laughs> i can't remember any of their names but yeah, it's a good movie. That was like the, the beginning of the end though. It was like that one and Scott Pilgrim, those two movies like... They awoke the hipsters. They're, they're here now, <laughs> you know? It's like the genie's out of the bottle. Oh! <laughs> I resonate with this, you know? I never saw Scott Pilgrim. And like Juno, I guess. That was another one. Maybe I should make this go lower. Um, okay. <laughs> Called a cult movie? Yeah. Well, there's like different kinds of cult movies. Like, uh, Troll 2. <laughs> Wait. That was like an old school. Old school internet cult movie. Or like The Room. You're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> uh, the Room is actually like pretty funny. It's ridiculous, but it's it's pretty funny too. Like the story is so stupid. <laughs> And it's just even better that, because Tommy Wiseau, he looks like he's 50 years old and he's hanging out with these young kids. <laughs> it's just funny. Good stuff. Whew. Find Scott Pilgrim overrated. I never saw it. <laughs> Troll 2, yeah. They're eating her and then they're going to eat me. Oh my god! Um, okay. Sure, that's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's skip this one. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. Stand up, please. Um, groovy. This reminds me of the first boss. 
and Sly 2. What's his name again? The Iguana? I can't remember his name. Wait. Whew. Shallow Hell Syndrome. And the main character is supposed to be an ass, but so is everyone else. <laughs> Yeah, that like Dimitri. Yeah, that's his name, Dimitri. Where like, um, that's one of the reasons I can't watch like the Marvel movies. Like nothing is allowed to be serious, or not not like Marvel, but like kind of newer movies in general. People always have to have like a little quip, like a, like a witty quip, you know. Like everybody is just so dry, you know. Everyone's like really like rude and like sarcastic, you know, that kind of thing. Is that what you mean? Kind of. <laughs> I find that really annoying in movies these days. Juice? Who's got the juice? Smooth. Whew. Modern writing, yeah. <laughs> Good old millennial writing. Do, do. Hmm. It's like when I play Borderlands, I just turn off the I really like the Borderlands games. I think the gameplay is really fun, but I can't play it with voice volume on at any level. I have to mute voices because the story and the characters are just so unbearable. <laughs> it's like millennial writing maxed out to the extreme. I wonder if they're going to make a new Borderlands. I'll play it. <laughs> I played every single one of them. And I mute all of them. They're so fun though. Wait. Um, okay. Now I have Dimitri's theme song stuck in my head. It's a little too big. I keep forgetting that I have to draw more on this side, otherwise my big stupid blue head gets in the way. <laughs> Wait. My big empty skull. Down here. This is a cool angle for this foot, actually. I like it. <laughs> Joss Wheaton. <laughs> That's his name. I was trying to think of that guy's name. Yeah, Joss Wheaton syndrome. What has he even written? I only know his name. I don't know anything he's done. <laughs> but I only know that his name comes up with that kind of like writing style. Is he like a comic book author or something? I'm so out of touch. I love it. here yeah smooth all right one more five minute pose 
Um, yeah, let's zoom in here. Ooh, if I play games that have that type of writing, I prefer to have a silent protagonist. Yeah, I think I tend to like silent protagonists more. That's one reason I couldn't get into The Witcher. Because I, I hate Geralt. I think he's so annoying. I hate how he doesn't use pronouns. Want to go over there. <laughs> he doesn't say, I want to go over there. He's like, want to find out what's going on over here, you know? He's so annoying. I would have much preferred if Geralt was a silent protagonist. <laughs> yeah, his let me dance phase in the boss fight. It was a kind of a cool boss. If you'd come from like um, Sly 1, Sly Cooper 1, and then you played Sly 2. Because it was the first boss where it was like, like a free 1v1, I guess, eh? It's kind of a cool boss. Thought it was fun when he joined the gang in 3. Yeah, it is kind of cool. I agree. I forgot about that. And you get like the dive suit. I like those games. That's like the perfect era of gaming, if you ask me. Like the Sly Cooper era. Sly Cooper and like Jack Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank. Like the PS2 era. PS2 and like GameCube and stuff like that. All my favorite games are from then. <laughs> well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Oh, I hear some gooses honking up the street. Whew. Oh, I never saw Firefly. Okay, Wheaton is famous for Firefly. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I haven't seen either of those. I've heard Buffy is good, though. Um, from people who have like similar taste to me. I've heard that they like Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I remember that being on TV and being like... <laughs> just thinking that it sounded so lame. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, no thanks. Let me sit down and watch Powerpuff Girls and Sailor Moon instead. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, no way. <laughs> that it sounded so lame. <laughs> what is this line? I drew this line in and I don't even know what it is anymore. Hmm. Yeah, I think PS2 is the best console, if you ask me. Oh man, I'm running out of time. Um, let me let me draw this legs. This legs. I guess you can really only see one of them. This legs. Close enough. Other foot is turned a little. That's good enough. Now I need these arms. Uh, where's my elbow? It's about here. <laughs> That's probably too big, but who cares? I certainly don't. This should be curved this way. Good. Um, all right, I think that'll do. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love how most cartoons that point towards girls got us boys when we were little. Well, they were actually good, you know? I'd watch anything that was good, right? 
time for the pose of the day. Still to this day, I'd watch anything that's good, you know? Sounds kind of funny. It's probably better with the female model. Um, it's a little stiff, but it's kind of cool, I guess. When I think of like a microphone, I think of a, a female model. I like this back leg. How straight it is. It's like almost you can follow this curve like down here, and then it just goes straight into the ground, right? It's kind of cool. Not a lot going on. Let's just do kind of the default angle. When in doubt, default. Whew. Soft spot for the SNES. I didn't play enough of the SNES. I only played like a couple of games. But yeah, I like the old school. I like how um, simple old school games were, right? Like Contra or stuff like that. Like it's just, you turn it on and you just play. You don't need like a story or anything, right? Oh yeah, that's true. Most of the boys' cartoons back then were gross-out cartoons. That's true for sure. Like, um, what was the Super Babies or whatever it was called? Mega Babies? God. <laughs> Reject humans. Except anime. <laughs> yeah, I don't watch much live action anymore. Mainly because I don't have a TV. <laughs> I, the, I think the last series that I watched was like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I watched a bit of that, like, I don't know, the first season maybe, when it was airing. But ever since then, I just, I haven't even, I don't even know what there is, you know? What's on TV these days? The View? <laughs> is The View still on? I remember going to a friend's house once in high school and he turned on the view and he was like, the view? <laughs> then we proceeded to play Goldeneye. He had two TVs. I think he was rich or something because he, he lived in a giant house and he had the entire downstairs. And he had two TVs in his room. That's like the Zoomers today who like watch TikTok on their iPad and then also on their phone at the same time. <laughs> My friend would turn on the view and play Goldeneye in 64 at the same time. <laughs> Anime characters are prettier. I agree. 2D supremacy. <laughs> no interest in TV in years. It's all marathons. Yeah, it's all like, um, I used to watch the cooking channel all the time, but then it became competition stuff. It's like everything I used to watch kind of stopped being interesting. Like it all became chopped and like Iron Chef. I'm just like, I, know, I don't care about this, you know? I want to watch Rachel Ray and, and what's his name? Emeril? Bam! And um, I can't remember the other guy's name, the Hawaii guy, Hawaiian, Hawaii cooks or whatever. Ray, I think his name was Ray. And Julia Child with um, Jacques, I can't remember his name. Jock something. I used to watch all that stuff. And like the original Iron Chef was actually pretty good. Iron Chef Japan. It started out pretty good in the uh, like the American version too. But I think they realized how much views they were getting. They're just like, let's make 500 more competition cooking shows. Made me sad. Oh well. 
Nothing lasts forever. Vaguely remember Iron Chef? It was pretty good. They'd give like a special ingredient. I think you could probably find some old episodes of like the classic um, original um, Japanese version on YouTube or maybe on like archive.com or org or whatever. They get like a special ingredient and then they have, I think it's an hour, I don't really remember, to cook like as many dishes as they can. I think it's as many. Sometimes they do like three dishes or something or like, I don't know, it's been too long. Let me forget this arm for now. It's distracting me. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was more like informational and educational. It wasn't about like the challenge. The American version was like, is when it, they started cutting like everything and like, you know, you wouldn't know what they're really cooking anymore. Like you used to be able to see the full process. Like now he's grinding up this to make a sauce or whatever, right? It used to be really interesting. It was like when I was really young, I wanted to be a chef. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, reality TV editing, exactly. I watched a few episodes of like, it's called Beat Bobby Flay. It's just, it's like the same thing, but man, <laughs> it's so different. They have like an ingredient or whatever, and it's like a one hour show, but they have two contests in it because they just need so much more reality TV. So it's like, you don't even know what's going on anymore. They have like two chefs compete against each other. And then whoever wins gets to play battle Bobby Filet and they get to like choose their favorite. This is my specialty is uh, risotto or whatever, right? And then they have like a risotto battle against Bobby Filet. But it's like one hour and there's like two cook-offs in one show. They just need to fill as much content as they can. And they have like guests, celebrities to come on. <laughs> Just stupid. I hate TV. I hate it. I don't mind some reality TV. Like Survivor used to be really fun. I used to watch it every season. It used to be really cool. Even Survivor is like weird now. Oh well. <laughs> and like the Amazing Race. <laughs> Amazing Race was pretty cool too. I always kind of wanted to go on the Amazing Race. I think my dad wanted to as well. We sort of like talked about maybe applying and then just never did anything about it. It would have been cool. Probably not actually. <laughs> So I imagine if you're on the Amazing Race, you don't really have time to enjoy the countries you're in. You're just running around like a crazy tourist. Uh, do you know? Do you know where the uh, the statue of of uh, the, the dog is? Uh, me no speak English. Seems pretty hectic. <laughs> I'd rather watch. Stay at home. Wait, wait. Traveling is too uh, too much work. <laughs> I think I'm done traveling.
Um, how about that? What is this hand motion? <laughs> I don't know. That's good enough, right? Works for me. Hmm, this is not correct. <laughs> Head feels a little small, but what's new? There you go. I think that'll do it. All right, works for me. Okay, you just uh. Click on, um, where is it? This one. Go over here. That was fun. I feel like we just started today. Tadum. All right. Let's see how we did today. <laughs> the stick arms. Stick arms always make me laugh. Cause I remember how <laughs> how rushed I was when I drew them. Oh yeah. Hmm. I go over here for now. Um. I guess that's fine. That's kind of cool. You can go here. And I'll just put you there. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> My arms! Lost my arms in a... This looks like a surfing pose, right? It could have been like a tragic surfing accident with some sharks, right? Sharks ate both me arms. Mm -hmm. Stick legs, <laughs> stick arms, stick limbs, stick head. Have I ever done a stick head? I guess not, eh? here. Aha, I wanted to put you up in this corner, but you might be too big. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> you can fit right in here. Perfect. Um, baseball can go here. Some nice Tetris today. I like it when everything fits nicely because then you can make them a little bigger. It just makes the whole presentation look a little better. Hmm. What else do I have? This guy. This pointing finger is going to get in my way, I can tell. Hmm. Well, what else is there? Um, I like you down here. Like this. Should 
Sure, and then this guy down here, this guy, what was the pose today again? Ah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds funny. Oh, it's a microphone pose. I forgot. That's right. Cool. That fits well enough. Um, let's move this guy down a little. Sweet. There you go. Let me save this. And I think that'll do it for me today. What folder is this? Where am I? <laughs> Help! Uh, it's here, this one. <laughs> okay. Happy April 10th, everybody. 10th? April 10th, yeah. And then time lapse, export. Then I gotta click on, where is it? This button. Did you? Sweet. And there you go. Whew. All right. So that'll do it for me today. Man. Um, I'm pretty awake today, which is nice. Um, I'm usually sleepy. <laughs> I guess I got a good sleep. Can't tell. My cat wasn't on my bed when I woke up, so I think she she left. Usually when she's sleeping on my bed at night, um, I get worse sleep because <laughs> she's, she's really annoying. <laughs> she wakes me up and stuff. But I think she slept somewhere else last night. So maybe that's why I, <clears throat> pardon me, why I'm feeling better. Yum, yum, yum. Anyway, um, like I said, that'll be it for me today. I'm going to get to um, some Blender modeling. I think eventually once I figure out a little more um, how to use Blender, I'm still really, I'm too much of a beginner to, um, like I'd like to stream it at some point as well, some character modeling and stuff like that. But I'm not at the point yet where I know what I'm doing, so I have to alt tab all the time and like read tutorials and stuff and like watch videos. But once I get a little better with it, I'd like to um, stream some character modeling too for the game I'm working on and stuff like that. Or like environments. I haven't done any of that yet, right? But eventually, I'm still kind of figuring out the hotkeys and stuff and like the general procedures of how to model stuff. So, but eventually, I'd like to um, stream some of that too here and there. I feel like I get more work done when I'm streaming. <laughs> well, I guess that's not exactly true. I get more work done, more spread out throughout the day when I'm not streaming. Like I'll do a little bit here and then a little bit there. It probably winds up being more when I'm not streaming. <laughs> I do a lot of work after like, after like dinner and stuff, like really late. I've kind of always um, liked working late in the day. Like when I was writing papers and stuff for university, I'd always do it like way late in the day. Yeah, blender, donut. I've done the donut. Um, most of the donut. I'll probably model like a few simple characters to get the feel for it and then and then I'd like to stream my modeling as well. Because I have a bunch of um, character designs like in my head. I haven't drawn them out yet, but I know like I know what I'm going to need to do. So it's not like it's going to take me that long to kind of draw out the character sheet. And then, because I'm going to do really simple stuff anyway, right? So we'll see. That'll be in the future though. <laughs> Probably not anytime soon, but I don't know, maybe in like a month or so. I don't really know. I don't know how long it's going to take me to figure this stuff out. <laughs> but yeah. Just thought I'd mention it. Um, is there anything else I need to mention? Hmm, I guess not really. Thanks for watching. <laughs> As always, we'll be back tomorrow with some more poses. And um, probably at some point during this week, I will um, do another drawing. 
for this week's prompt. What is it again? It's breeze, I think. I like that word. Breeze. Maybe I'll do something, um, hair blowing in the wind or something. That might be fun. I'll think about it. <laughs> Either way, uh, thanks for watching, everybody, once again. Um, and I'll catch you next time, eh? Take care, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.